I'm Rishav. I run a company called IKEA Automation that is helping SMBs and startups reimagine their revenue operations to grow their profits in multifolds and very very fast. Today, I'll be talking about how you can stop wasting hours prospecting leads in the traditional way because honestly it sucks. Have you ever spent an entire morning clicking through business directories, Google Maps, Google search or online forums desperately looking for leads? It's a huge time taking task and then you maybe end up with 10-20 leads after hours of searching and what happens next? Half of them turns out to be outdated. That's frustrating, right? As people who sell products and services, we all hate manual prospecting. Don't we agree? But picture this instead. An AI driven workflow that hunts down new leads for you every single day, then cleans up their info, drops them all into your CRM while you are sleeping. You wake up, check your systems and see a fresh batch of potential customers without lifting a finger. That's the power of automatic lead scraping workflow. No more guesswork, no more manual grunt work, no more missing out on deals just because you ran out of time. Now think about the commercial value. Each hour you save on lead searching is an hour you can invest in building relationship and actually closing sales. That means higher revenue without hiring extra help or slogging through data entry. It's a complete game changer if you're juggling a million tasks already. Ready to see how it works? Stick around for this tutorial. We'll walk you through setting up this lead scraping agent from scratch using Aniton and other AI tools. No advanced coding is required. By the end of this, you'll have a hands-free pipeline that feeds your prospects every day. The best part? We'll share you the downloadable file which you can upload and generate this workflow on your NTN. You can use this automation for your business completely free of cost. Let's dive in. Google Map Lead Extractor, the first thing we'll do is jump to platform AP5, which is the store of wide range of APIs and we'll select Google Map Email Extractor from this. And we need to provide input in the form of JSON, which will be location uh, and uh, the business we want to search. The location can be any city or maybe a town inside a city. And the business can be digital marketing business or a restaurant or anything. And to call this API, we will select APIs option here and API climb. Now, this is the code which we can use if we were to call this API from Node.js and to call this from Aniton, we will use API ID, which I've copied it in my notes. I, I'll provide all the details of how to call this APIs in the document attached to the video. The second thing we'll do is go to settings and click on API and integrations. And here we have our API key which we can use to some extent, which is allowed in a free trial mode. So I'll just copy this. And now let's jump onto N10 and paste our API link. This is the URL and we will be using a post method. This will be the body which will pass into the request. And let us add the first node, which is a chat trigger. And through this chat trigger, we will basically add the search input, which will be the business we want to search. And the next node will be HTTP request because AP5 node is not available on Aniton. Let's copy this API URL into this column section here. Now there I have pasted all the required credentials here. So this is the common API which you will require for any API, AP5 APIs. And there will be just this unique API ID, which will be different for all the APIs. And the token will be the same, which you will attach to it. Now make sure you also add the headers, which will be just content type and application JSON. 
and finally select body content type json and we'll add raw json data here now this is a two part api so when we call this api it will trigger the background process which will work on the ep5 servers and to fetch the data we'll need to call the different call a different api again after a few minutes so let's add a wait period between the two apis let's keep it at 3 minutes and till then enough data would be extracted and collected at ep5 server now we'll call the second api using the http node again and pasted the api url which i'll need to get the data and the one thing variable here is the de default data set id which will re uh, get from the previous http request node and the response from this would look something like this it will be an array with other information like image url title of the company or basically the name of the company city and other details so we have reached halfway in fetching the details of the company now since this is an array we'll use loop to process the data one after another and the idea behind this is to finally save our data in google sheets so i'll use add append a row in sheet so if you haven't created or attached or integrated your google sheet account into anaten do watch my video previous video on google how to attach any google application to anaten and you will know it's a few step process adding your google sheet node will select our google sheet account and will let this as is sheet within the document and for the document will select which document we want to use so i just created this new page or new sheet on google sheet which i named google map leads you can create one of your own and select which sheet sheet 1 or sheet 2 which you want to use now i have also added the names of the headings of the co table columns which are name city phone number email website linkedin and enhanced so this is a variable which i'll keep as constant false right this will be a boolean variable and since we are doing we are taking our leads to multiple stages we'll keep a track using this boolean variable so for the first stage we have crossed we'll set it as false and in the next stage when we have enhanced or improved our leads we'll set it to true for the other variables we can just use json and make sure you select expressions so this is how the data appears we, you can check it here i'll provide this all in the document attached to the video you can always go and look there so for city we have just the title city for name we have the key in title for linkedin and everything we have arrays so let's add those one by one and this is how it would look so for email as you can check it was an array in the response right it's an array it's not a string so we'll be receiving multiple emails and to show it properly on the sheet we will get rid of the array we'll convert into into a string so let's see how the response goes we'll trigger this workflow and see how it gets executed so let's click on digital marketing and i would kept the location constant which is a place in mumbai and digital marketing agency is the business we we'll search let's go with this and let's check the execution so you can see the workflow is waiting it has successfully cleared the first 
HTTP request node, it has received the response, which is basically just the ID, a unique ID given to us, which we will query in some time to fetch the real data. So if you can see multiple keys available here, we will use default data set ID and we'll send a separate request in the HTTP request one node to finally get our data. So let's let this process. And our workflow has executed not completely successfully because Google Sheet rejects too many requests at the same time, but that's okay. We can limit the request by maybe limiting the wait period. We have kept it at three minutes. We can maybe reduce it down to one minute to receive limited records. And maybe we can query the same node again in a loop to fetch the further records. Now let's check the Google Sheet and see what data we have received. And here, those are the 22 records or four records actually which we have received from Google Maps. And you can see most of the records do have basic information, right? It this email and website and LinkedIn, which this businesses might have saved on their Google profile, which one can find on Google Maps. They can even find it here. We can also see the four mobile numbers. So a sheet is full of leads. Now we can start by reaching out to them. If you are a business, you can just reach out to them by using their websites or maybe emails available to you on this platform. And see that we have collected more than 24 relevant records in just a few minutes of by running that workflow, which would have taken more than an hour to go through one by one to reach out to every company, search every company on Google map and maybe go to different pages and collect the same, same data. And a quick recap, what we did was add a simple chat trigger where from where we will add businesses. You can add maybe multiple chat trigger and maybe manipulate those input into different variables or different values in this JSON object for location, for businesses. What we just did was just for business and I had already hard coded the location. We waited for a few minutes because when this node triggered the workflow and once the workflow got triggered, the API extraction started taking place by AP5 and AP5 started introducing or collecting those into their own database. And after a few minutes, we asked AP5 to give us those data, give us that set of data, uh, which was in array. So what we did was loop through it and added it in the Google sheet one after another. So this is our workflow of Google map lead extractor. If you like the same workflow on your own anytime space, I'll be providing the JSON format or the JSON object, JSON structure, which you can just import on your Anaton Canva and your workflow will be ready to be used. You will just need to select your own Google accounts and other accounts. So once that is done, this workflow will be ready to be executed on your own Anaton. We are building an AI powered fully automated revenue operations machine for business owners. We'll be building end-to-end -end workflows for sales, marketing, and customer success. So if you are a business owner or someone who wants to build those automations themselves, do consider subscribing to our channel and give us like and comment what you want to see next and happy automating.